Welcome everyone, welcome everyone. If we can just take a moment to just bless God on tonight, to just take a moment to bless Him, take a moment to give Him praise, praying in the Holy Spirit, singing in Psalms, thanking Him, giving Him the glory on tonight. Father, we bless you. Lekado Shada, you join in. Let us just thank God. Let us bless Him. Let us pray in the Holy Ghost on tonight. Oko Shebe, Lebon Kiba. Let us bless Him, thanking Him, praying in the Holy Spirit, singing Psalms, being grateful to Him. We bless your name tonight, God. Oh, Kabo Shatam Bredebe Shadabab. We converge here, God, on tonight and bless your name, oh God. Therefore, we ask, oh God, that we will pray tonight as your spirit gives us utterance in the name of Jesus. We will pray tonight as your spirit, oh God, gives us utterance in the name of Jesus. Robo Shekin de Blegedebo Shadabab. Nyakado shede lebrado shi blado seke maluskida le krado shan rebeketia we bless your name oh god we bless your name oh god we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name we are grateful on tonight god we are grateful on tonight we are grateful on tonight for your grace and your mercy we are grateful on tonight oh god Shada bladi kalabosa, lepra di kalaboso to, reto shada bladi kado shiba, mali broto umbro dololo bo she blada ba 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 shite, robo ko shada bladi karaba shiba, lepra da bali kaba da bra da 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 ba shata bladi, le bali kabo shoto umbre ge de ge de bo shada bladi, lepra di kada bo shida. Le bradi kala la bo soto mbrege de baka tala la bradi li kaba raba de soto oh makato shi kaba li kaba ba 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 le braka ta le brege de le bro soto rega da ba 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 mo sheke le kaba zi kaba li kre de bo she de mbrege de zabra do she mbrege de bo she ya le brondo bo do she. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews 4, verse Hebrews 4, 16 says, let, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to be bold. I want us to be bold and come before God tonight knowing who we've come before we have not come before any man we have not come before any human being we have come before majesty we have, we have come before the throne of god today we have come before the throne of god on this night we have come before him and we know we are assured when we come before him that he hears us that he hears us this boldness this is the assurance that we have when we come before him that he hears us that he not only does he hear us, but he is willing, is willing, is willing, is looking forward, is excited, looking for us to meet with, with him. He said we should come boldly. He said we should draw near to him, and he will draw near to us. We should come closer, and he will come closer. His ears, he said, his ears are not far that he cannot hear. His ears are not far that he cannot hear. If we, if at all, if at all we don't get through to him, it is because of our sin have separated us from him. Therefore, let us come to the understanding of this fact that God hears us, God is willing to hear us, and let us begin to come boldly. I want you to open your mouth and declare this day that you come boldly before the throne of grace. You come boldly. You know what you've come to meet. You've come to meet with God. You've 
you've come to, you've come on an appointment with him tonight you've come to engage with him you've come to talk to him and you've come to hear from him so i want us to pray declaring declare declare that i come boldly i come to the place of the blood of jesus i come to the place of the blood of the sprinkling in the name of jesus i come to the place where the blood of jesus speak better things than that of evil Therefore, the blood, let the blood silence the voice of any accuser before me this night in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that will stand to become an accusation before the presence of God concerning me, I come tonight by the speaking of the blood. I come tonight by the tokens of the blood. I declare this day that boldly I come, boldly, boldly I come, boldly, oh God, I present myself before you tonight in the name of jesus boldly oh god i present myself before you tonight oh god boldly i present myself i come before you oh god i've not come before anybody but i've come to mount zion oh god where there is deliverance i've come to mount zion where there is deliverance i've come boldly to you to the throne of grace i've come to meet with majesty tonight i've come to meet with a great one I've come to meet the one who is looking forward to hear from me. Father, I come boldly, oh God. I declare this day that the blood is speaking on my behalf. In the name of Jesus, I declare this day, God, that the blood of Jesus is speaking on my behalf. In the name of Jesus, Rebado Shabbai, I declare tonight, oh God, that the blood is speaking on my behalf. In the name of Jesus, therefore, any voice of accusation, any voice pointing the finger, any voice, any voice, oh God, Lord, that is trying to lay blame, any voice, Lord, that is trying to point the finger tonight, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus silence such voices, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I present myself before you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come boldly tonight, Lord, that even as I begin to open my mouth, Lord, to lay my request, oh God, and my inquiry. I declare tonight, oh God, that nothing stands between me and you in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight, oh God, even as I begin to present my case, that nothing stands between me and you in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight, oh God, let the blood speak on my behalf in the name of Jesus. Let the blood Lord of Jesus, oh God, begin to speak on my behalf tonight in the name of Jesus. Even before my inquiry comes forth, even before my request comes forth, let the blood, the power in the blood, let it speak on my behalf. The efficacious blood, the powerful blood, the blood with all its power, let it speak on my behalf. As my name is mentioned tonight, let the blood, oh God, the blood, as my cases presented tonight let the blood over oh, the blood let the blood speak oh god he said when i see the blood i pass over god let the blood speak tonight in the name of jesus let the blood speak oh god on my behalf tonight oh god let your blood let your blood let your blood let your blood ladies and gentlemen tonight i want us to pray tonight my my heart tonight is for us to pray for children my heart tonight is for us to pray for children. I know you may have your prayer points, but I just I just feel in my heart tonight for us to pray for children. I've been laying out the prayer points and I want us to pray for children. The first Bible verse I want us to read is Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 31. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 31. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 31. You can write it down if you want to. It says, and they said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. We want to pray, we want to pray and believe that God saves our children, that God saves our children. You see, a lot of times, let me tell you the truth. We bring our children to church, we love on them, we teach them the word of God. But you see, let me tell you, we cannot force them to be saved. We cannot compel them to save. We cannot manipulate them to be saved. The same way we were touched by the Spirit of God, the same way we were convicted in our hearts, the same way 
the Spirit of God convicted us and converted us. The same way we were going one way and God turned us. Salvation change. The, the same way we repented is it's a change of direction. The same way we made a change of direction is the same way our children will make a change of direction. Now, you see, the thing is we don't want to be carried away, especially us that are very um, committed in the house of the Lord, very um, committed, functioning, carrying out a lot of activities. We don't want to be carried away that because our children come to church that they have accepted Christ. Listen, God has paid the price. Jesus with his, with his blood has paid the price for us, but we have to come. That is why the Bible said, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. That which means you've accepted salvation. You've accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. Therefore, we want to open our mouth and pray that our children will accept the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. Let the convicting power of God, let the converting power of God, the power of God that converts like a salesman, like a good salesman that meets every of his potential clients and sell them a product or convert them as a sale from a potential customer that became loyal customers. Let the Spirit of God convert our children. Let them forcefully, let them lovingly, let them convert our children. Let them come to the knowledge of the truth. Let God bring them face to face with Him. For the Bible said that we and our household shall be saved. I want us to pray. You don't have to take it for granted. You've got to open your mouth, whether they are little babies, whether they are grown up. I want you to open your mouth tonight and pray um, that because I am saved, I use myself uh, as a point of contact for my children, uh, Lord, that they will come to the knowledge of you. Uh, they will not just be familiar with church, uh, but rather, God, they will come to the knowledge of the truth. Uh, Lord, they will have a personal encounter with you. Uh, I pray tonight, bringing my children before you, God. Uh, Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, that the power of the Holy Spirit of God uh, will convert them, oh God, convict them. Lord, change them that they come, oh God, to align with your will. In the name of Jesus, I therefore begin to in this vein, begin to declare that every stronghold of the enemy, oh God, with an intention to keep my children in a state of forgetfulness, in a state of oblivion, in a state of familiarity with you, but yet not relationship, oh God. We break it tonight in the name of Jesus. We declare tonight that our children, we have a relationship with you, uh, that our children will come to the knowledge of the truth uh, in the name of Jesus. We declare this day uh, that even from a young age, uh, they will begin to proclaim the truth. Uh, Lord, even from this young age, uh, you will separate them from anything that want to separate them from you. Uh, we declare tonight, oh God, uh, that even from this young age, uh, you will separate them, oh God, you'll break them out uh, from relationships that are not ordained by you. Uh, relationship with the potential, oh God, to lead them astray. Uh, we declare tonight, oh God, that they will come to the knowledge of the truth, that your power, oh God, to change, your power to deliver, God, your power to transform, your power, oh God, to deliver, transform, and change. Lord, will begin to walk in our children. Lord, that they will come to love you, that their passion for you will grow in the name of Jesus, God, that their passion, their zeal, Lord, for you will grow tonight. We pray tonight, oh God, that your love for things of the kingdom, oh God, will go to a different level in the name of Jesus. We declare tonight, oh God, Lord, they will have an encounter with you. You will encounter them, they will encounter you, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children just like the boy Samuel. Lord, began to hear you as a little age. We begin to pray, Jesus, that our children will not just, Lord, hear you faintly, oh God, but they begin to hear your voice. Clearly, oh God, you begin to minister to them. Lord, you begin to influence their life. Lord, you begin to direct them, oh God. You begin to fellowship with them, God. You begin to commune with them and implant your spirit in them. We pray tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that our children, oh God, will come to the knowledge of you. We declare tonight, oh God, let your spirit, oh God, overshadow them. For the boy Jesus, when 
he was twelve, was found in the temple, oh God, interacting, oh God, with scribes and Pharisees. Lord, in the temple, opening a book, we pray this day, God, that our children, oh God, of a word, the children, oh God, of a loaded with your word in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, that your word, oh God, will flow through them. Your word will live in them, God. Your word will reside in them, God. He can rebeck in the level shire. Let our children not come to you. Lord, in vain, oh God, let them come, oh God. Lord, with a hunger in your heart, with passion, in the name of Jesus. Let them long after you, oh God. Let their soul desire you. Let their soul, oh God, let the souls of our children desire you. We bring them before you on today, God. Let them begin to run after you. Let them begin to long after your word. Let them begin to long after your presence. Let them desire to dwell in your presence. Let your passion, oh God, let the zeal of your house consume them. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray to stay, God, not just church and not just fellowship, not just Sunday school, but rather, God, let the zeal of your house, the zeal of your kingdom, the passion of the kingdom, God. Let the passion of Christ, Lord, consume our children, God. Let them be on fire for you, Lord, in the place where you have called them to be. Let them be on fire. Let there be an activation, oh God, of a fresh fire in them. Baptize them afresh. Lord, baptize our children afresh. Let the Holy Ghost, oh God, fall upon them like never before. In the name of Jesus. The second prayer point we want to pray, Isaiah 54, verse 13. The first one was Acts of the Apostles, 1631. The second prayer point, Isaiah 54, verse 13. Isaiah 54, verse 13 says, all your children, listen, not some, not one, not the other one, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. We want to pray for God to reveal himself to our children. Let them be taught. Listen, it's a different thing if I teach my children the word of God, tell them about the Holy Spirit, tell them about Christ. It is one thing. It is another thing when they are taught by the Lord. You know what it means to be taught by the Lord? The way you and I have an encounter where, the way I have an encounter, I don't know about you, where God teaches me. I can be washing a dish, God teaches me. I can look at a billboard, God is telling me something. God teaches me the world himself, things that I've never heard anybody say. While I'm reading the world, I'm getting a different kind of understanding. Where God begin to reveal himself to me through his word. Where God, through conversation, begin to reveal himself to me. Where I'm driving and God is revealing himself, he's telling me things and teaching me things. This is what we want for our children. Listen, there is a way that God teaches our children that we would not have to labor because most of the time we don't even realize we're trying to teach our children the way God teaches us. It is different from them because the metaphors we use, the analogies we use, they listen when it does not get into their spirit. But watch this. When the spirit of God teaches them, when God when God begins to unpack, un unveil, reveal, Lord, God begins is to open himself up to our children and teach them. Listen, when God taught um, Saul on his way to Damascus, on his way to crucify Christians, when God unpacked himself, uh, unpacked and revealed himself to Saul, he said, who is this? He said, I am he who thou persecutest. Um, he said, can you kick against a prick? God was asking him, God, that is an encounter. That is a that is a, a, a revelation of God. God was revealing himself to him because Saul does not even realized that he was talking to God Almighty, but God was unpacking himself, having this conversation with him, even though he did not know him before. Listen, I want us to pray that God will reveal himself to our children, that God will unpack himself, the way relevant for them. Listen, there is a way relevant for God to unpack himself to Daniel, to Levi, to Mammy, to Timmy, or to Maya, to all of our children. There is a way that God has destined for them to understand them. 
the way God will unpack himself to Marvin may be different from the way he will unpack himself to Maya. So I want us to pray that God, all of our children individually, I want you to encounter them. God, reveal yourself. You said our children, this is a promise. Listen, you can go to God with this word, Isaiah 54 verse 13. He said, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. It is a promise. So I want us to go and remind God of this promise to say, God, you said our children will be taught by you and great shall be the peace of our children. When our children are taught by you, they will have peace. I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare that Father God, this is your word. We bring it back to you. Open your mouth and pray. We bring it back to you, God. And you gave a promise. And you said all our children, no exemption, far and near. All our children will be taught by you, God. And you said great shall be the peace of our children. Therefore, we come to you tonight, oh God, declaring that in this house, I declare that all our children will be taught by you. Therefore, we ask, oh God, that you reveal yourself to our children, God. You unpack yourself, oh God. You open yourself up, my God. You open yourself up, oh God. Let our children encounter you, God. Lord, when Samuel encountered you, he encountered you differently, oh God. Lord, and Eli told him, when you hear the voice again, say, Jeremiah, send me. You had never shown anybody like that yourself before, but you showed the voice, Samuel. We pray tonight, oh God, show our children yourself the way you know best fit for them to understand, the way you know best fit for them to follow you, God, the way you know best fit for them to be passionate with your work. We don't want to force them. We don't want to manipulate them. We don't want to give them false promises. We want you, God, to unveil yourself, reveal yourself, unpack yourself. We give you permission, oh God. Lord, as your parents, we give you permission. We dedicate them to you again. We say, God, reveal yourself in their sleep, in their school, in their playground, in their walk and talk and do in learning. Reveal yourself in the Sunday school, in the church, in the playground. Reveal yourself. Unpack yourself to our children, God. Let them see you like never before. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, reveal, reveal, reveal yourself, oh God. Reveal yourself to our children, God. Unpack yourself, oh Malekade. Let our children encounter you, God. I declare. Let your spirit, oh God. We declare the night, oh God, let your spirit, oh God, over around your sleep. Begin to separate them from the work that you have called them to do. We pray the night, oh God, that you begin to move them, shift them from the work you have called them to do, God. He can retake I don't know about you, but this is very strong on my heart. Let God reveal himself to our children. Eh? Let God unpack himself, oh God. Let our children begin to run to us and say, I had a dream. Can you explain this dream? I saw the Lord. I saw the fire of the Lord. Let our children begin to cry and scream because of the glory of God upon their lives. Let our children begin to encounter you and speak in the tongues that even we can understand. Let our children be on fire, oh God. Let our children come in the say explain to me the bible let our children come with scriptures from their sleep let our children come with revelation oh god in their spirit let our oh let your eyes be opened oh god we activate tonight the grace upon your lives the oil in their lives oh god we pray tonight lord that it come into operation in the name of jesus on this third day of the seventh of the ninth month oh we pray tonight oh god holy 
spirit. Father God, we pray, Jesus, fall on our children and never before God. Let your spirit, oh God, rain on them, fall upon them. Let the Holy Ghost, oh God, manifest upon our children, God. Do what we cannot do. Do what good advice cannot do. Do what common sense cannot do. Do what conversation as a parent cannot do. Do what human mind cannot do. Do what the schools cannot do, God. Do what nobody can do, God. Encounter them, oh God. Encounter them, encounter them. Encounter them from small to big. Encounter them. Let your fire fall on them, oh God. Lord, we pray for the lighthouse, oh God. The children of the household of mercy. We pray using every one of them as a point of contact for their generation. Let your fire fall upon them, oh God. You said, oh God, they will be like a city set upon a hill. Therefore, we pray this day. Encounter them that your world may encounter them. Encounter our children, God. Let your school encounter them. Encounter them. Let your generation encounter them. Encounter them. Let the city encounter them. Encounter them. Let your sports club encounter them. Encounter them. Let your teachers encounter them. Encounter them. Let your borrow encounter them. Encounter our children, God. Let us a nation begin to encounter them. As the school begin to encounter them, they begin to see, oh God, your glory move. Now the places that we cannot enter, God, let our children with the glory on them begin to go in the places, oh God. Let them begin to permeate the school system. Encounter our children, God, with your fresh fire, God. Let them take you to the schools, in their classrooms, in their playground, in the assembly room. Let your fire fall upon our children. Let healing break forth because they're in that school. Let deliverance happen, oh God, because they're in that school. Let witches run away because they're in that school. Let their presence make demonic forces uncomfortable, oh God. In their offices, oh God. In their colleges, oh God. In their universities, oh God. In their business places, let your fire fall upon our children. And the people that encounter them, oh God, will know that of a truth. There is a God who reigns supreme in the name of Jesus. Let glory surround them, God. Let the cabot of your presence, let the full weight of your glory fall upon them. Let dryness go from their lives in the name of Jesus. In this vein, we begin to declare this day every negative force on assignment trying to derail them. We command it to go in the name of Jesus. Hey, Shand, he come from the most shamane, he baratan de bay for peace, oh God, of our children. For great shall be the peace of our children, oh God. Every spirit of instability, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of the lack of concentration, we command you to go for peace, oh God, shall be for our children in the name of Jesus. It is your promise. We declare it of our children, God, in the name of Jesus. It is your promise, oh God. We speak it about your lives tonight. For great shall be the peace of our children. God will speak peace over them. We we'll speak peace over them. Malibu Shaba, Lebroto Rabade Shabladai. Oh, we speak peace. Oh God, come on, open your mouth and declare. We speak peace of our children. Every trouble in their mind, we command it to go. Anxiety, we command it to go. Fear, we command it to go. For God has not given them the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of the sound mind. We declare this day, God, every spirit of fright, every spirit of worry, anxiety. We we command you to go in the name of Jesus. We command you to leave your life for the Bible said, according to the promise, according to the covenant, according to the contract, the agreement, according to the word of the Lord, that great shall be the peace of our children. Therefore, we declare this day that nothing shall keep them unrest in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall keep them in a place where they are not at peace. In the name of Jesus, we call peace to manifest in their lives. 
We declare this day peace to manifest in your lives. We declare this day peace to manifest in your lives. Lord, for every one child in the household of mercy, Lord, even a still with the South Africa, we speak of all these children, God, that peace will manifest in your lives. They will not be afraid. They will not worry. They will not be anxious. They will not panic. Oh, God, Lord, they will not be timid. They will not be intimidated. Lord, rather they will be full of confidence. They will work stronger and greater in the name of Jesus. Let your voices come out, oh God. Let your voices come out. The confidence that comes as a result of peace. Let it rise, oh God, on the inside of them. The assurance that comes from you. The peace that comes from you. Peace, oh God, be still in our children. Oh God, every instability in your mind, peace be still. It come on the lebosia and the planting of the enemy, oh God, to try to cause them to be unstable. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. In their jobs, peace be still. In their businesses, peace be still. In their school, peace be still. In their neighborhood, in their playground, in their clubs, peace be still, oh God. In their sports, dance, theater, singing, all their different groups. They attend. We command peace be still in the name of Jesus. There will not be the affliction of the enemy. The son of wickedness will not afflict them in the name of Jesus. We declare peace be still. 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 Peace be still. Let your minds be stayed on you for you keep in perfect peace. Those whose minds are stayed on you. Let the minds of our children, God, be stayed on you. We declare tonight, nothing shall shift their mind from you, God. Nothing shall mess up their mind. We bind the spirit of self harm in the name of Jesus. We declare peace be still. We bind the spirit of the lack of confidence. We declare peace be still. We bind the panic and spirit your spirit. We bind and cast you out. We declare peace. Be still tonight. In the name of Jesus. Shada balabasha. Thirdly, Isaiah 59, 21. I told you tonight we're praying for children. Isaiah 59 verse 21. Isaiah 59, 21. It says, as for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. Now, when God says, says the Lord, you better listen carefully. My spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth or out of the mouth of what? Your offspring. Or out of the mouth of your children's offspring. Listen, the declarations we're making tonight, it says, says the Lord from this time forth and forever. Now, God made a covenant. Do you think that God wants to go back to the Old Testament and say, well, I've changed my mind. I said it was forevermore, but now I want to change my mind. I want to take it back. No, God doesn't do that. When God spoke the word from Isaiah's time, the word goes, transcends generation. It goes generation after generation. God said the word that I've put in your mouth. He said, this is my covenant. This is what God, my God. You don't understand what I'm saying? God is... It is God that is reminding or saying, this is my covenant. This is my agreement. This is the contract that I have signed. This is the declaration I've made, a promise that I have made with them, says the Lord, my spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in your mouth. He said, shall not depart out of your mouth, one, or out of the mouth of your offspring. God is saying, my God, that the promise, that the promise he has made towards us. The words that he has spoken over our lives, the words that he has given to us, he said it will not depart out of our mouth, it will not depart out of the mouth of our children, it will not depart out of the mouth of our children's children. So I want you ladies and gentlemen to begin to open your mouth tonight and declare. Even you Esther, you open your mouth and declare that the word that God has given you as 
you begin to have children, it will not depart out of thy mouth. It will not depart out of your children's children's mouth. I want you to open your mouth and declare that the word concerning health, the word concerning favor, the word concerning prosperity, the word concerning abundance, the word concerning growth, the promises that God has given us, my God, I feel this. It will not depart out of our mouth. It will not depart out of our children's mouth. It will not depart out of our children's children. The word of the Lord of all this family will transcend generation. It will move from one generation to the other. I declare today, God, even spiritually, oh God, the children you have given me, God, the word that you have put in my mouth, it will not go out of their lives. It will move upon their lives. It will move upon their children's lives. I declare tonight, oh God, both spiritually and biologically, God, every son and daughter, God, that you have given to me, I speak this word, that your covenant of health, your covenant of life, your covenant of prosperity, your covenant of abundance, your covenant of protection, I declare this day, God, it will not depart from their lives, it will not depart from their children, it will not depart from their children's children, we prophesy tonight, Lord, even the children on board will operate in the anointing that we carry in the name of Jesus. That this oil upon our lives, I declare tonight, this anointing to pray, this anointing to speak your word, this anointing to lead, this anointing to manage, this anointing to love, this anointing, oh God, Lord, to understand people, God, the anointing to understand protocol, it will flow upon my children, the favor of my life, it will flow upon my children, upon my children's children, in the name of Jesus, I declare tonight, there will not no labor, there will not no struggle, but for every labor, God, your favor shall rest upon them, like never before, we speak this word, that no word, oh God, of our lives, will depart from our lives, Well, it will not depart from our children's lives, it will not depart from their children's children, in the name of Jesus, the way causes run down um, from generation to generation. Uh, we declare this day, God, um, your covenant of our lives. Um, it will flow down um, from generation to generation. Uh, it will run down um, even to generations unborn uh, in our lineage. Oh, God, um, we plead the blood. Um, we are cost breakers. Um, therefore, oh, God, um, our children's children will not know cause. Um, no cause will be operational in their lives. Um, in the name of Jesus, um, we come by the speaking of the blood. We come understanding God, the power in the blood of Jesus. We therefore declare it, oh God, in our generation, God, in our lineage, God, in our dynasty, God, in our legacy, God. We prophesy it, even to the people that have not yet encountered us, the sons and daughters coming from afar. We prophesy it, they will come and encounter this world. Lord, that you have put in our lives in the name of Jesus. Abrada Shakaba, E Parato Shiki, E Ribadi Shata. Woo! Jesus, I feel something. Maluka Shete, E Shida da Baba Baba. Woo! Shida. Look, let me tell you. I am Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 102, verse 28. This is, this is the power of what you carry. I will show you. Psalm 102 verse 28. It says the children of your servants shall dwell secure. You don't understand. God said not only will your own children dwell secure, but he said those that work for you, those that serve you, those that work with you by the reason of the relationship they have with you in that context God said even those people their children will be secure their offspring shall be established before you he said in your very eyes my God the people that work for you the people that labor with you the people that serve you by the reason of their connection with you the anointing that operates in your life will cause their children to be secure not only will they be secure 
come. It will cause their children to be established. So I want you to open your mouth and pray. Father, I declare tonight, oh God, as the pastor of the household of mercy, I pray tonight, oh God, that all those will labor with me in the faith. All those will labor with me in leadership. All those will labor with me in the workforce. All those will labor with me in the house, oh God. I have declared for their children that their children will be secure. All those will sow into my life. All those will bless my life. Who are connected to my anointing. Connected to my mandate. Connected to my assignment. Lord, on this night, the third day of September 2021, I prophesy over them that their children will be secure. I declare over them that their children will be established. Therefore, I pray this day that every plan of the enemy of God to destabilize their children. Lord, I cut it off in the name of Jesus. I declare, God, that their children of God will be established. I prophesy their children secure. We declare this day no weapon from the against them will prosper. We build a wall of fire round about their children. We declare this day, God, give them enterprising skills, entrepreneurial abilities, succeeding powers, proficient skills, amplify their relevance in the name of Jesus. Establish them in the city in the name of Jesus. Like a city set upon a hill, make them a lighthouse. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh my God, my God, my God. Lastly, lastly, lastly. Where am I? Number, number four. See how far we can go. I have some more prayers for children. Maybe we'll take this one last if there's time. We'll take another one. Isaiah 44, 3 to 5. Isaiah 44, 3 to 5. Isaiah 44, 3 to 5. He says, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring. Ooh, We've touched this to an extent. I will pour my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. They shall spring up among the grass like willows by flowing streams. This one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call on the name of Jacob. And another will write on his hand, the Lord's, and name himself by the name of the Lord. Listen, our children will be patterned. Talk about patterning. I talk about putting a stamp. He said they will put a tattoo on their hands. Say, I am the Lord. Listen, they will boldly inscribe. Come on, do you understand what I'm saying? We declare tonight that our children will boldly inscribe on themselves, which means they will not hide the fact that they belong to God, which means they've been sold out. Watch this. When you, when, in, in, when, when you buy an animal, you mark it. When you buy an animal, you mark it so you know that this is mine. This is mine you cannot touch this one. You have marked that one. They are saying, the Bible verse is saying our children will put on themselves to say, I am the Lord. I have been marked by the Lord. But the Bible says, therefore, you bear on your mark, you bear on your body the mark of the Lord. Let nobody trouble this one. Our children will declare tonight, will boldly have on themselves, inscribe the Lord is mine. I belong to the Lord. They will boldly declare wherever they go in their schools, their playground, in government and business, in their colleges, universities, wherever they go, we declare that our children will boldly stand for truth. That is what it means. They will not be ashamed of the name of the Lord. They will not be ashamed to call upon the name of the Lord. They will not be afraid to profess their faith. They will not be afraid to declare the force of the Lord, but they will mark on themselves. One will say I belong to Jacob. One will say I am of the Lord. One will say I am I belong to God. I am sold out to the Lord. This is the promise upon our children. We declare it and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus. Lastly, Isaiah 61, 8 to 9. Isaiah 61, 8 to 9. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their offspring shall be known among the nations. Ooh, do you understand? Your offspring shall be known among the nations, not in the village, not local champions. They will be known among the nations and their descendants in the midst of the peoples. All who see them, oh God, shall acknowledge them. You better tell your friends and family to bring their children to church on Sunday. You will declare these words over them. He said, all who see our children shall acknowledge them. That they are on they are an offspring the Lord has blessed. Oh, Jesus. Listen. All who see your children, this, this Bible verses, you should be declaring them over your children. That all who see your children shall acknowledge them. They will not have to talk, they will know. They will say, they will say, these are the ones whom the Lord has blessed. Because of the things that will be happening in their lives, because of the kind of profound miracles, because of the, the kind of mighty move of God that will be happening in the lives of our children in their schools, their football club, their dance club, music club, wherever they go in their colleges, universities, in their, on their businesses, on their job, wherever they are, people will look at them and say, these ones are the blessed of the Lord. This is our declaration over every child represented here tonight. We use them as a point of contact for every child in the household of mercy and those connected to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we bless you. Let us thank God in a minute or two. Let us just thank God for his word of our children, his promises that we not fall to the ground, that we not fail. We bless him, we bless him, we bless him, we bless him, we bless him. Woo! For they will acknowledge our children and say, oh, these ones have been blessed. They would not have to speak. Father, we thank you, God. Our children wouldn't have to speak. We would not have to talk about them. People will look at them and say, this one has been blessed because of the wonders that will be happening in their lives, because of the miracles, because of the turnaround that will be happening in their life, because of the shift, because of them, the kind of things that will be happening, the kind of miracles, the kind of faith will open doors, the way things will change because of their presence there. People will look at them and say, these ones have been blessed by the Lord. We thank you, God, for this is the heritage, oh God, of them that fear you. This is the blessing that come upon our offspring. Father, we give you the glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Remember, this is not for only little babies. It is from children, but a newborn, unborn, to the ones that are grown with children. It, it is for every child, as long as they are your children, we declare it over them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.